Hello everybody, Andrew here from The Review Dude. Let's get on with this month's mobile phone deals for Australia. So are you looking for a phone that ticks all the right boxes? Well, the iPhone SE definitely does that. So as we are leading up towards Christmas, Optus have kind of in a weird way increased their price on the iPhone SE and the, notably so because it was such a good bargain uh, we did feature it last month so this month it's actually five dollars more expensive um, than it was in the previous uh, update but nonetheless it still remains the best overall deal if you have a streaming service for TV or music you can now access those on your Optus device and the downloads, the streaming downloads, will not count towards your download limit. So it's 128 gig, so you're never gonna run out of space. It's a compact size phone, and it has the iPhone 6S camera. This phone has one of the earlier generation fingerprint scanners, but it still works excellent. Moving on to the budget mobile deal, the Alcatel Pop 4 still remains one of our favorites. So the advertising for this phone is still a bit confusing. You can see that they call it the Pop 5, but it's actually the Pop 4, that's a five inch device. Okay, so the Pop 5 has actually been one of our daily phones a few months ago. So check out our review uh, on our channel. Australian Post have once again decided to put it on special. And as you can see, it's only $59 outright. It is an absolute bargain. And it's a phone that for that sort of money punches way above its weight. It is locked to the Optus network. So if you have a Optus SIM, prepaid or postpaid, it will both work in this phone. Absolute bargain. Finally, the best premium deal that we have been able to source for you this month is the Samsung S8. Now that you are aware, it is a beautiful phone. It is the flagship for Samsung. The Samsung S8 is $100 per month at the moment with Virgin. For that, you get 30 gigs of download. The iPhone 8 has just hit the stores and the iPhone 10 is now starting to be rolled out. We are not going to recommend it just yet because the initial buzz obviously created by these phones, you will be paying a premium for either one of those. So if you could hold off maybe a month or two, maybe just prior to Christmas, I think we're going to start seeing some great deals if you are an iPhone uh, aficionado. <laughs> That's it everyone, I hope you've enjoyed our little roundup. If you have any comments or would like to ask any questions, please do. Have you found a deal that you think is going to beat any of these? Please let us know, we'd love to hear from you and perhaps we can consider it for our next update. Until then, bye everyone.